For more videos visit for the sake of education.com. Alright guys, let's find the Norton equivalent circuit with respect to the terminals A and B for the circuit shown. They're giving us the answers right here. So this is how we're going to do it. We have the circuit right here, right? So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to find the Norton equivalent resistance. To do so, we're going to open this um, these thing right here. To, so this is open. Actually, let me not draw this lens, it just confuses people. That's open. I'm just redrawing the circuit with the current source open. So this is A and this is B. This is 12, this is 2, this is 8 and this is 10, which is open the current right there. And we are measuring the resistance from right here. As you can see, these three are, are in series, the 2, the 8, and the 10 are in series, and they come out to be 20. So you can replace this circuit by this circuit. This is 12. This is 2 plus 8 plus 10 is 20. And then we got 20 in parallel with 12. This is A, this is B. And this becomes 7.5 because it's uh, 20 in parallel with 12. And 20 is 2, 8, and 10 in series. Okay. So this is 7.5 is equal to the Norton resistance. So now that we find the resistance, give it right here. We're going to use uh, simply voltage divider. divider to find the 7 in uh, voltage. Why are we going to find the 7 in voltage? Because remember that with the 7 in voltage and the Norton resistance, which is the same as the 7 in resistance, you can just do a simple source conversion to find the Norton equivalent. So if you wanted to find the 7 in uh, equivalent voltage, all you got to do is convert this to a sor source conversion right here. We're going to convert this and it's going to look like this plus minus this is a 12 and this is the 10 and this is A and this is B. So this is the ohm resistance this is the 12 ohm this is the 10 ohm the resistance remains the same the 8 but the voltage is 120 volts now we did a simple uh, source conversion remember ohm's law v equals i times r so if the current is 15 and the resistance is 8 the voltage is 120 that's how I got this 120 right here and we did this basic source conversion. Now we did the source conversion, we're going to use the voltage divider. You know that this two, this 8 and this 2 are ohm resistance. You can combine them together because they're in series into a 10 ohm resistance. 10 ohm resistance. And you know that B7 is measured right here is the voltage drop across the 12 ohm resistance therefore using voltage divider you know that b7 is equal to 120 volts times the resistance 12 ohms divided by the total resistance 10 plus 12 plus 10 10 plus 12 plus 10 so when you solve this equation you get that b7 is equal to 45 volts Therefore, we just found the 7 in equivalent circuit, plus minus, and this is 7.5 ohms, this is 45 volts. This is a 7 in equivalent circuit. And we can ba do a basic source conversion to find the Norton equivalent. So remember, 
the resistance remains the same this is A and this is B the resistance remains uh, the same so B equals I times R the voltage is 45 volts the current is what we're trying to find the resistance is 7.5 so 45 divided by 7.5 gives you 6 amps so 6 amps and this is the Norton equivalent circuit as you can see 6 amps right here this is a, a very easy way to do this problem sometimes um, they ask you to find the Norton but it's much 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 easier to find the Thevenin and then just simply convert it that's the trick of this exercise or the lesson of this exercise sometimes it's easier to find the other one and just do a basic source conversion instead of trying to over complicate yourself trying to find the Norton equivalent of circuit directly so final answer please comment below if you want me to do any problems and I'll be happy to help thank you